Oh, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. So if you follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, or if you saw the thumbnail of this goddamn video, I'm bald. I am fully bald now after the New York Rangers defeated the Carolina Hurricanes in Game 6 because I tweeted out this dumb thing when I was pretty drunk at the Capitals Game 3 versus the Rangers and the Rangers won. I tweeted out, I will shave my head down to a 1 if the Rangers beat the Canes. It just isn't happening, and... It unfortunately happened. It very unfortunately did indeed happen. The New York Rangers come back from down 3-1 in the third period. You guys should have saw the way I was acting once the Hurricanes went up 3-1, once it was the start of the third period. I was like, it's in the bag. This New York Rangers team is going to fumble. They're going to choke. It's going to be historic. And then Chris fucking Kreider. I'm sure I'd love Chris Kreider if he was on like any other team in the entire NHL outside of like Toronto Maple Leafs. American kid, Massachusetts kid. Just, just takes over. Just, just takes over. And, and, and it takes over in part because Freddie Anderson plays like absolute crap. Gets the natural hat trick in the third period. That is absurd, man. That is absolutely absurd to come back. And then Barkley Goudreau ices the goddamn game by three. That was just funny because, like, it's, I don't know. I, I've always rooted for Barkley Goudreau just because Ranger fans hate him so much. But Barkley Goudreau ices it for the New York Rangers. So uh, natural hat trick from Kreider and then Barkley Goudreau. And now I'm bold because I'm a man of my word. Hopefully you watch the live stream. Maybe I'll throw in some pictures over of how it went. And like, I just want to look at this series. I want to look at this series and just the overall. I don't have any like notes this is gonna be similar to my new york islanders video where i kind of just ranted i'll have like a more serious breakdown on what the Kings should do in the future going forward because they're building a reputation as chokers man they are building a serious reputation as not being able to get it done in the playoffs last year conference finals get swept this year six games go down three nothing even though they maybe were the better team but we'll get into it we'll get into it we'll get into it rangers get it done and, and i gotta respect it uh do i think carolina maybe was the better team in the series it's up for debate. It's seriously up for debate. Those first three games, the fact that they did not win a single one is so egregious. The special teams were so lopsided. Carolina started out, what, over 15 in their power on their power play. The first five games, New York was something like five for 15 on the first three games. So when it comes down to the series, although Carolina's special teams did eventually start to cook in those three games, Carolina need to, needed to win at least one of those goddamn games. They could not get it done. New York goes up 3-0. And it looked like New York kind of folded. And honestly, at the start of the third period in this game five, uh, six, they didn't look that good. I thought they were fully giving up. Chris Kreider scores a goal, gets them going. Then the guy, I forget, was it the second? Yeah, I think it was the second goal was the Chris was the Freddie Anderson should have froze the puck, jams it in. And Chris Kreider after that, I, after that, they were screwed. Once, once they tied it up, I, I knew for the most part that it wasn't going to happen. But yeah, just looking at this overall for the New York Rangers, they're a legit Stanley Cup team. I, I don't think I've been a massive hater. I predicted Carolina, but I said, I said consistently, I said, this is going to go seven. This is going to be a war. If the, Rain the Rangers could easily win this series. Although I, I, I kind of played it up for Twitter. Don't get me wrong. But I've always said the New York Rangers were a legit Stanley Cup threat. And they won tonight when Igor Sturkin, although maybe the goals weren't necessarily his fault, but he didn't play fantastic. And over the last couple of games, Igor Sturkin honestly has not been that sharp. But if Igor is playing at the level that he was the first three games, I could easily see them beat the Florida Panthers. Will I maybe pick the Florida Panthers? Probably because I'm a hater to a degree, but it's it, the New York Rangers could go on to win the Stanley Cup. Now, I'm looking at the Carolina Hurricanes. I don't know what you do this summer, man. Rod Brindamore wants this massive bag, and although I do think Rod Brindamore is a very good coach, and any team with a coaching vacancy should throw a massive bag at him. If you're Carolina and you've seen the last five or six years, and I guess you can't really count 2019 because that was kind of like a, an out of nowhere run in 2019 when they made the conference finals, but you have now the last three years for the most part, they have been high level contenders. They go all in at the deadline this year, get a Jake Gensel, get an Evgeny Kuznetsov, who's also on the books next year at $4 million. They signed Dimitri Orlov in the off season. Are you going to run it? I don't, I think they're going to bring back Brindamore, but next year, if Brindamore doesn't get this team, at least to a Stanley cup final, What's well, the problem? Because you got to sign them on some mega deal. I, it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Either way, the Carolina Hurricanes end up going. I, I can see both sides. If they let uh, Rob Brindamore go, it's a risky decision because you don't know what coach is out there. But I also understand, considering he's been here for a decent amount, over half a decade at this point, and you have not made a Stanley Cup final, if you have standards within your building, it's going to be very interesting. Now, when looking at the Carolina Hurricanes this summer, they have something like, let me pull it up real quick. I just posted it on Instagram. They have something like $34 million, I believe. Oh, Oh my God, for a second, I thought my uh, face ID wasn't going to recognize me in this, but I just posted this. Just give me a second. Uh, they have $28 million in salary cap space this summer. 
Jarvis, Natchez, Gensel, Teravainen, uh, Pesci, Shea, all free agents. So when looking at this core, this probably was their best chance to win a Stanley Cup. I'm moving my head so much because I don't think they're going to be able to re-sign everybody. When looking at that, if you want to re-sign Gensel, that's $9 million. Jarvis, if you want to do a long-term deal, that's probably north of $8 million. Bridge, I guess, $7 million at least. He had fucking almost 70 points this year. Didn't even have seven. He might have even had 70 points. I forget. But when looking at it, yeah, they're going to be a very interesting team. Can you run it back with Freddie Anderson as your presumed starter next year? I don't know after that performance. I don't think he was bad overall, but he completely fucked you in that third period. Kachetkov, is he ready to be that number one? We're going to see. There's a lot of question marks in Carolina in terms of this offseason. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what they do, considering their owner is a bit of a cheapskate. Does he, if he doesn't want to give Rod Brindamore a five-year deal worth $5 million, make him a top three highest paid coach in the entire NHL? Somebody will. New Jersey Devils, Toronto Maple Leafs. Somebody will pay out the wazoo for Rod Brindamore, and rightfully so compared to what they dealt with previously and Rod Brindamore's track record of still getting you to conference finals on a regular-ish basis. He's still a very good coach, but it's going to be very interesting what Carolina does Going forward now, am I going to make another bet on my hair whether the New York Rangers beat the Florida Panthers? We're going to have to wait and see. But I think New York, with some days rest against Boston, they got to be praying that Boston, that Boston wins that game six and they go to seven and Florida's even more tired when they end up playing. If they play the Boston Bruins, they're going to walk them. That, that, that would be my nightmare. That'd be a free advance to the Stanley Cup final for the New York Rangers. But yeah, they proved me wrong. I don't... They proved me wrong, but I mean, like, it's not like they dominated Carolina. They just got the bounces in the first three games. But at the end of the day, they did win. I, 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 can't, I can't be saying if what happened. Now, when looking at my hair, yeah, I'm going to be going to Turkey in a couple years. Uh, that'll be nice. If, if you see me in, like, 2028 do one of these bets, just know it's because, like, I'm going to head to Turkey and get it professionally done, get new uh, hair implants going. But when looking at the New York Rangers, yeah, I'm rooting for their downfall, but I can admit – at this point, considering they're the first team to make it to the second round, they're probably the Stanley Cup favorite. If I updated my odds, I'd have them at 27%. Dallas Stars down to like 23%. Florida at 19, 20%. Oilers are playing literally right now up to one at the first intermission. They'd be 19 or 18% or something like that. New York Rangers are in a fantastic position. I really hope they don't win the Stanley Cup. Thankfully, I did not make any bets on my eyebrow. People keep on saying, shave your eyebrows. I'm not shaving my eyebrows. This is fine. I can throw on a hat. Once I go like this, I, I got I got work. I work for Clutch Points. I work for Bleach Report. If they see me pull up with a shaven eyebrow, they can deal with a hat. They can deal with a beanie. Drop your beanie and hat recommendations down below. I'm open to anything as long as it's not Rangers, Leafs, Carolina, Pittsburgh, Washington, Metro for the most part, besides maybe the Devils, drop all that. But uh, yeah, at this point, I am a shaven loser. It stinks. Hopefully the New York Rangers lose in the Eastern Conference Finals, even though they beat me here. If they lose in the Eastern Conference Finals, that's still a fail of a season. But yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think? What do you think about my hair overall? I think it actually looks pretty decent. In a week or two, it'll be perfectly fine. But yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think? And I'll be seeing you in the next one.